what is up everyone welcome back to another lego star wars youtube video and you guys probably know it's been a while since my last um imperial army collection or er, imperial army collection video and today i would like to do a 2024 update it is now may of the year which means i think it is now about time to do a collection tour for my imperial army so we're kind of just going to be doing how it went with the clone army and my previous imperial army videos i've i've done two update videos uh, for my imperial army now i did my first one back in april of last year in 2023 and then my last one so most recent one in july of 2023 so it's been about 10 months now since my last update and i would like to do a new one today so let's get into it all right so first thing that i'm gonna do is I'll start off by going around my collection and taking all the minifigures here that are imperial minifigures which I mean like there's a ton like there's imperial minifigures in the cantina some from the prequels um some from the like the star destroyers here there's some from my Hoth display actually there's a lot and there's a lot from here so i'll just go around my collection and i'm gonna just do it like this off camera and now here are all the minifigures all like scattered around my bed i just did it like this because just and so they can all like be in order so yeah all right so here we're gonna start off with this um here's the base plate i probably haven't pulled out this base plate since my last um my, this is my last Imperial Army video I did. So here is, so we're going to start off with the Darth Vader here. This is the one that came in the boarding the Tana 4 set from this year. And we're just going to stick it right in the middle here, where I'm going to try to at least. I'm guessing that's probably going to be close as I'll get to the middle.
and here is the big reveal right here. This is my May 2024 Imperial Army right here. It is so much bigger than how it was last year, like a lot bigger compared to last year. Last year, literally it was just like the three Star Destroyers, the at, -AT and only like two of these TIE Fighters here and the Inquisitor Scythe. That's pretty much it. This is it now in 2024. It's much, it still needs some improvement, but it is definitely better. So yeah, we'll start off with all the main figures, as you can see. And then we've got the TIE Fighters, we've got the TIE Bomber, TIE Fighter, TIE Interceptor, Invader's TIE Fighter. We've got the Imperial V-Wing, the Imperial Armor Marauder. And, and behind that, um, Shinhani Starfighter, the Inquisitor Scythe, the Hoth ATSD. ATAT, -AT. and then the very center i think it just made sense to be the emperor throne room with the death star and then obviously all three star destroyers 2014 2006 and moff gideon's light cruiser all kind of like the three center pieces surrounding the or all like like the three main big ones surrounding the um the Death Star. So yeah, there it is right there. That is my 2024 Imperial Army. I'll probably do another update with this near the end of the year because there's a chance that at the end of the year I'll probably have the UCS at, -AT in my collection. So yeah, probably at the end of the end of the year I'll do one more for 2024 because I'm hoping I'll have the UCS at, -AT. And so yeah, but yeah, right here this is my 2024 Imperial Army. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in another video soon. Hope this one blows up again because the first, or because my clone army video, my first one, and my first Imperial Army video did pretty crazy.